Good morning, good morning to everybody. Yep, it's Lady D again. Getting off of work on this fine day on a damn taste bus. So, you know, I don't know if any of you guys watched last night the Sarah L speech. Bye, Obama. I'm going to miss you. So, today's video is. Um, Nothing but a slate tablet. It's kind of like a rocket, a rocket job. But uh, now everybody wants to complain about everything that's going to happen with Trump coming into office, Trump still in the election. Why y'all want to complain now? I've been complaining for a while. Been trying to get away free stuff. Telling people to subscribe if you didn't vote so I can get a head count. But nobody has done that. Nobody wants to help. But we do want to complain. Everybody wants to complain. But nobody wants to help. Why don't you want to help but you want to complain about stuff? You always want to complain about how you can make something better, how this could be done. But when I ask for your help, you never want to help. When you ask a friend or you present an idea to your friends on something that could be done, a lot of times people want to take over the idea instead of help you achieve the goal with the idea that you already had. Why is that? Why is that something that we do? I'm still working on getting uh, funding together and getting these buildings with the X's on them, you know, the big red X's in Chicago and a, a few other vacant buildings. Um, occupied for you know, home improvement projects or homeless improvement projects where the, uh, a few homeless people will be fixing up the buildings and things of that nature. Uh, no, haven't gotten any sponsors. Still looking for you. If you want to contribute, you can do it. You definitely can be a sponsor. So, uh, one of my next steps, no, I didn't try to break in Trump Tower. I did say I was going to do that before Inauguration Day. Um, I might have to still throw poop at Trump Tower on Inauguration Day. So for all of you guys that are boycotting watching the Inauguration, you can watch that I'm on Inauguration Day. Um, but yeah, no, I didn't do that. Uh, last video I made that was lengthy, you know, they, they shut me down. They, there's no audio on the video, y'all. No audio whatsoever because of copyright infringement, which I understand. That's cool. It's just that I didn't know I was copyright infringing. Maybe I should have turned the music down or not had it in the background at all. So, uh, I think the best place to start would be on the south side with all of the empty vacant properties that are over there being is that no one seems to care but everyone has an opinion in the, in the complaint but i think that's the best place to start would be the south side i even actually came up with another idea you guys here we go right here the obama solar panel where the city of white lights right some of the books you know we had the world fair here but the Obama solar panels will uh, basically be start on the southwest side, going from O'Hare all the way to Midway. O'Hare to Midway. Houses with solar panels on top. And if you've ever been in the sky, you know a lot of times you can see the solar panels in the sky. So yes, I'm going to try to spell out Obama with the solar panels. I have to find that many vacant, empty spaces. Uh, it's, it's some research to do, but I'm going to look into it and see if I can find that many empty spaces. But it's just another idea I came up with when I was walking, and it's like every house I seen was empty and everything. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, no one lives here. Everyone's moving. You can't even live on the southeast side. I went over one of my friends' house, not that far from where my kids at, 
and her window thin then shot out. But this is a normal occurrence when we walk around like ain't nothing happening. Yes, her window she shot out. I'm pretty sure like she, she probably complained and shit like what the fuck happened. I was at work and shit and y'all shooting out windows and shit. But I don't know what uh they fixed it I think but I'm, I'm gonna check in on her today, you know. It's a shame when you have to be so scared to get off of work at night or be so scared to walk around at night in this city. Personally, I'm not scared to go anywhere. I'm not afraid of anything or moving around. I be in the suburbs, I be everywhere. And it doesn't matter what form of transportation you have to get around. You can't close your mind to stay in your environment and not know that what is this place right here? You can get to Oak Brook Shopping Center. See if I can turn it on. You can get to Oak Brook Shopping Center from the Pink Line. You can get to Yorktown from the Pink Line. You can get to Loud from the Blue Line. You can get anywhere you need to go in the city and the suburbs. And a lot of places don't have it as convenient as we do. A lot of places you have to, you think waiting on a pace bus or something or waiting on the train is something, but a lot of places don't have that public transportation where you can get around without having to worry. And I know like I do a lot of things on the public transportation because Chicago is a city of movement. And I also think that we should be praised because that I know we still have a lot of cars driving there, but that alone shows that we're committed to cleaner air. And a lot of people overlook that. With our public transportation system alone, it shows that we're committed to cleaner air, even though it runs so frequently. So we have millions of people that are business. We we're committed to cleaner air. Contractors. I've been looking into uh, building management, uh, maintenance men, things of that nature. Uh, contracting that I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to find home as to how long people can live in that space. A lot of people said three years was too long for someone to live rent free just for fixing up a property. So comment below if you think that that's too long three years, comment how long you think that would be appropriate for a person who has taken nothing and made it beautiful, made it a home for themselves. I, I mean, I think it is substantial, but I mean, maybe they should only build that project, but then they don't care enough about the space. I'm trying to get you to care about the space. Walking down the street, throwing trash on the ground. Find the trash can. Hold that trash can. You get to the trash can. Care enough to say, okay, we need more trash can. If it's not a trash can or recycling bin, we need more of this in the city. So, comment below. And, um, how long do you think homeless should live? Even if you're not homeless, let's say you only have a few bucks or whatever. And you want to come and help with this project, you definitely can. This is this this is definitely the season for African American people who are getting that credit to invest in themselves and not just and George. Invest in themselves, put this property. You may not be able to afford the property outright, but you may be able to put a little three hundred or that little stack that you were gonna use to move into this property and make it a better place for you and your children or you and your family to live. Maybe just you and your sister or you and your brother or something. But comment below how long you think we should allow people to live. And the goal of this is giving people <laughs> their own space so they can learn to take better. Because when you have something that's yours, 
And I even think this is with kids. When they have their own room, when they don't have to share with their siblings, they care more. They have to care. It's their space. They care how that space looks. When it, they have to share, it's like, I can't control half of it, so I really don't care. And that's, that's the underlying goal, to get people to care about their space. The reason why so many white people, and I do say white people,
a lot of times when I'm recording, I'm looking at me. I'm not looking at you. You're in the background. So don't get mad. Be mindful of that. Because a lot of times that's how you present it to the world. I don't get upset um, about things like that. Uh, we have a lot of backbiters, people that fight off ideas and now they, they tend to want to make things their own. And that's why I say that, like, don't be a backfighter. Don't, or don't down someone when they're presenting something to you. I, don't, I try not to down anyone. Someone says something to me, I listen to them. And if I'm not going to be part of the, the solution, then I can't contribute to the problem. I can't contribute to you worry. I can't contribute to saying something to have you worry about the problem that you already presented to me. So I try to be part of the solution. And this is a long ride. Uh, let me show you guys this little space over here. It looks nice. I might bring the kids over there. Oh, Mannheim and Sermon. I think it's a little... Uh, Park district, somewhat. I mean, it's right next to the Forest Preserve. There's plenty of Forest Preserve paths in Chicago. Or you can just, uh, you can be in the wilderness if you want. And don't want to know that everyone says Chirac. This is the, this is really what people mean when they don't open their eyes to more than what's in Chicago. Chicagoans, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. 
of calling all Americans to strive to strive. You can let Trump take over the White House. Why can't we take over Chicago?